how do you see the main event playing out between Izzy and Alex? Man, that's a good one. That's a really, really good one. I know I saw Izzy fighting the, getting the fight. I thought he was up, you know, going into that, going into that last round. If it if it would have went to the decision, I would have had an Izzy four uh, one. But Pereira just has that that power that just nobody can really take. Uh, nobody can really take. But man, it just depends. Cause if uh, I know. Izzy, he's very technical. He's very tactical. And if Pereira gets overzealous thinking that he can do it all over again, I know Izzy, Izzy will snipe him out. But but there's also there's also a thing, you know, whenever uh, uh, somebody wins the belt, they obviously they jump and they start believing in themselves. I look at Leon Edwards whenever he fought uh, Kamar Usman this last time around. You know, there was a complete, like, he got so much better just believing that he was champion. He was like, oh, no, I'm champ. I'm this guy goes out there and gets the win. So made it look, you know, it wasn't as, com it, he made it competitive and made it look competitive whenever it wasn't a competitive fight there uh, in their second second go around. So that, you know, that might, you know, rub off on, on Pereira. So, uh, but to me, still Izzy, knockout round two. <laughs> I'm not an Izzy fan. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the fighting style, like the, like the point fighting approach until something happens, just not, you know, nothing against him, no disrespect. He's a good champ. I'm just not a fan of it. I prefer Pereira, but at this point, my, my mind says Pereira. At this point, though, my heart says it has to be Izzy. At this this man has created his own boogeyman. You see, do you guys see the thing where he's like, oh, uh, Pereira said he only came to MMA because Izzy said, like, he's, he'll be forgotten. Nobody cares about him. So he followed him. I'm like, this guy took your life in kickboxing. You left to make a new life, and he, he followed you out of, like, spite. So now I kind of feel for Izzy. Like, he has to win this fight. If he doesn't win this fight, be like, and he's an anime guy too. I am too. So I'm thinking, like, the only thing left to do is either throw yourself off of a cliff or, like, you, like, you, like, sacrifice. Like, you, like, you, like, go find a Cthulhu, Eldritch Abomination. You, like, you make sacrifices and you, like, ruin the world out of spite. Like, he, the dude has to. So Izzy has to win for our sakes because, like, that dude is going to be at the end of his rope. And, like, I, you... He has a personal boogeyman, and I fucking feel for him. But like, that's a terrifying thought to know, like you, like everything you do, like Alex Pereira is like looking over your shoulder, like just scowling. And apparently, he's the nicest man ever. I've run into Pereira like so many times. Nicest dude ever. Very nice. Very just a cool dude. But he just stands there like fucking Michael Myers in the background of Izzy's life. And I'm like, bro, I feel bad for you. You have to win. So I feel like Izzy's going to give it his absolute everything, die in the ring if he has to, because this is just, you, you got people like, oh, you can't run from your demons. Like your demon has a name and he, like, he's going to be there on Saturday. So like, good fucking luck, bro. Yeah. I, I thought Adesanya was going to win that last, you know, the, the, the fight that he had. Uh, and he almost did. Now that I think about it, though, it's hard to go against the data. It's hard to go against the history. I mean, the guy's got four victories over him, right? So uh, it's hard to go against that uh, three, three. So it's hard to go against all that data. Um, so I'm thinking Alex wins again. Unless, unless Adesanya uh, chooses to switch his game plan and wrestle, I think uh, this could be a different fight, and um, hopefully he uses that MMA experience to his advantage. I, he has more MMA experience than Alex, so hopefully he uses that to his advantage. You know, it's like, Izzy talked all that shit about uh, Marvin Vittori being all delusional about always thinking that he could beat him. Well, he's kind of delusional thinking that he could beat Alex, so it's just kind of like one of those things where they're all just fucking delusional thinking they could beat each other. Me, personally, I'm just like, shit, y'all have fun. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, but yeah, to answer your question, I got Alex winning. Uh, I got it 50-50. It depends who has the better strategy because you, uh, I always see like Adesanya winning the fight, but Pereira just has that, that knockout power, so I don't know. Maybe if Adesanya wins the whole rounds again and maybe take him down the last round, I don't know. It can play out. Uh, I think it's going to be a very close fight. I like both guys a lot. A lot. Like, uh, I've been a fan of Adesanya. Adesanya says something to me that, that kind of changed uh, for the good. A lot of things on my training. And he didn't say it on a better way. He said it in a very good way. And then I said, oh, shit. So, remember, he, he kind of did a video watching my fight against Hamzat. 
And they say, oh, I like Burns on this fight, but he gets hit a lot. And then I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I get hit a lot. Oh, yeah, that's real. And then I'm like, man, I got to get better defense again. I got to get better on my guard. And I'm thankful to him. It wasn't that I took in a bad way. I took in a very good way that a high-level striker saying that. And I say, oh, shit. And then I put a lot of emphasis on that. And then I got a, the last two camps, I got way less hit. Like, way less. That That's... Proper, uh, props to, to, to Adesanya. But I'm Brazilian, bro. If I say, oh, I want Adesanya to win, they're going to kill me. And I want per <laughs> They will. They will devastate me on the social media. Uh, but I like Pereira, too. I didn't met Pereira when he fought the first time. I saw him after the Strickland fight. I was at that fight. Bro, and then he was super cool with me. A nice guy, too. And then I was with him a couple other times with most energy, with a lot of other events. He was in Brazil with Glover when we when I fought New Magny. And those guys are nice guys, like both guys. They're very different, but they're very nice guys. So I think the fight is gonna be, I think Adesanya is gonna kind of take a charge on the, on the beginning. And he's gonna be way more smart trying to don't get him movement, great movement checking the kicks, kicking, but throwing the hands first, don't get blocked on the kicks. That was one thing that he hurt uh, <clears throat> when he kicked a block because it just was just a, a naked kick, he just kicked. I think now he's gonna throw more hands before he kicks. Uh, but freaking Pereira is a monster. If he does connect, it might be it. So it's a good fight. I think it's a 50-50. Like the other fight, I want Kamara to win, but I think Leon's gonna win. As a as, as a Brazilian, I want Pereira to win, but I think at the same, oh, I don't know why I got a little edge for this fight, a little edge, but I want Pereira to win. Oh uh, man, it's a it's a great fight. Um, it it sucks that like 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 you know this is like more of a mental fight for uh for Izzy, you know, and um unfortunately I, I kind of see uh, the champ sticking with the belt. I think Izzy takes it. Um. Do I have a little bit of a bias? Yes, but I will remove that from the equation. And I will say, I think that Izzy is just one of those moments where he just, there was a, a lapse in his guard for one moment. And it just, in and, and Pajero, Pajero was able to capitalize with that left hook that he's just known for, for closing the show with. And I think that Izzy will be savvy to it. I think that there will be more wrestling incorporated into this fight. And let's not forget, he had a lot of success with the hands. I think that he's going to come back refreshed. He's going to come back hungry. And I think that he's going to shine as the challenger. I feel like he really shined as a challenger making his way up. When, we, when he finished Derek Brunson, when he was out there just styling on guys, I think we're going to see that Izzy again with a little more shades of wrestling to his game. And who knows how bad of a cut Pereira had because, I mean, he didn't really have a long – this fight was announced with like eight weeks, nine weeks of a camp. And when you're that big of a fighter and you've got to make a 40 to 50 pound cut, you need all the time you can get. Is that going to come back to kind of bite him in the butt? It remains to be seen. But I do think we're going to see a better version of Izzy on Saturday night. Final one for me. How do you see the main event playing between Izzy and Alex? Man, I'm a fan of both. Um, I've always liked Izzy's style, man, the way that he moves, the way he fights, the way he carries himself in there. But Pereira is like the Terminator from hell, bro. Like this guy just doesn't take fucking no for an answer. He has unreal fucking power. Um, and it's hard to bet on Izzy because he's lost three and two of them are, are by knockouts. It wasn't like, you know, a lot of them are competitive. One of them I did think was highly competitive in the kickboxing match. So um, that being said, I, f I feel like they just fought too, like last week, you know? So is that still fresh in Izzy's mind? Can can he put himself in the right spot? I, I think he can because Izzy's a hell of a competitor, man. And, he shows up and does his thing, but uh, conventional wisdom would say, I'm, I'm going to lean with Pereira, you know?